stands to reason, if there are transgenerational trauma, then obviously there are transgenerational talent. But we'll get to that later. We'll get back to that later. So let's talk about how we can inherit from our DNA uh, inter or transgenerational trauma where the hair doesn't want to grow obviously because let's say for example your grandmother your mother may have had some level of trauma in her life with her hair then that is passed on in the DNA here's the thing there's something called epigenetics right epigenetics means simply environmental accurately how your behaviors and environment can cause changes affect the way your genes actually works so if your grandmother or your mother or even your great great grandmother understood the concept of using sustainable ingredients, sustainable things like say coconut oil, uh, cocoa butter, uh, uh, castor oil, all those things are based on our environment, the things that we get from nature. So for example, if your granny was to use those things, or your mother was to use those wonderful sustainable ingredients, your hair will come back and therefore debunk the concept of transgenerational trauma. And so when I say uh, trauma, I mean I was born in a very, very humble family. I mean, for all intents and purposes, you can say we were poor. But here's the thing, I mean, in my family, in my ancestral chain, there are natural entrepreneurs. So here's the thing. As a little boy, at five, six, seven, and probably eight, I was an entrepreneur. And, here, and here's why. My mother sent me, my mother bought me a toy. And this toy was a little camera, right? A little camera that children use it back in the day. And what I did was, rather than use the camera for my personal uh, fun, I got the camera, it's like a projector really, I got the projector, I got the children in the neighborhood and I created a little cinema. And in that cinema, all the children came and paid me 10 cents it was. I was in the Caribbean. They paid me 10 cents to watch cartoons. So you see, if your hair doesn't want to grow in the way you want it to, based on what you think is trauma that's been passed down, no, you can make a massive difference by using uh, the best ingredients and the best products. Obviously, you can use Derek Clement hair care products, which has in it infused products that are indigenous to us. And here's and that, that would help you to sustain a, a healthy hair to grow. So debunk the concept of trauma and focus on the concept of talent. You have to be very creative in the things you do. Focus on natural ingredients or find an, a product that has no ingredients that are harmful that has parabens that could continue the harm to your hair what you want is hair growth based on the environment how you are shaped you've got to be creative i mean i make for instance milk i don't buy milk i make milk so how do i make milk i buy a coconut a real coconut i bust it open it goes into the blender and out comes pure natural organic milk so you've got to be creative with your hair care it's all about self-care only way to go moving forward